Hello, the game has started. It's my opponent to go first. I've got a balanced rack, no duplicates. I can't see a seven with this rack, but there could be some eights. Wow, fantastic start for opponent. 88 points and seven floaters for me to consider. So let me just work through them in turn. The eye looks promising. Not seeing anything there. I've got the LY and ILY ending. Lobstery and bolstery, not good. How about the K? Not looking promising. And the E? No, not seeing anything there. How about the D? Well, I could be overlooking something. I'm just not seeing a bingo. Should I continue to look? What if it doesn't end LY? What would it look like? Close to I bolt. B and R duplicate tiles on my rack. Well, I'm not seeing anything. Do I have a double-double through the S? Well, I do because I have lobster. Do I have a double-double which uses the Y? Not seeing such a play. And this is quite nice because Lobster places the O and the E next to triple letter squares where I can place my where I can play my Y next turn. Well, I've moved away from a bingo Iraq. Fantastic start for opponent, two back to back bingos. What can I do here? I have, it would be nice to get rid of F, W and Y all in one go. Wifty is a play, but it doesn't play anywhere. So I could play Woff down here for 32 points. Still keeping this, this wretched Y. Do I have anything else? I can't see a way of getting one of my scoring tiles doubled and then the word tripled. But is 32 the best I can do? And is there a five letter play ending in Y? Not seeing such a play. So I think I will play in this spot. Well, that's 32. How about... Yeah, 43. Bigger score, better rack leave. Ah, ball not good. So, how about Foy in this spot? Same score. And I have Twinned. And I have Entwined in column 13. I also have that in column 4, so I am bingoing. Opponent's charge continues. He now leads by 130 points. But I have Entwined. For 80. Not good. Six vowels. Opponent playing quite quickly. Good score. 
Viper takes an S, doesn't take a Y. And I trail by about a bingo, so this game is not out of reach. And I'm thinking about playing Nay Oi. Still three S's and two blanks to come. So this rack, this this play is not ideal. It's only twelve points. It's taking out an S hook for lobster. It's leaving a pretty dreadful rack leave. So pretty much none of those things are good. Maybe I should change here because I could spend several moves trying to sort this rack out, at the end of which I could be 150 points behind. Three ends to come, five A's. I'm just contemplating what to change. I could change all seven, or I could keep A and N. I think I will keep A and N, because if I draw an I, then I could have an ING word in column one. Not a good pickup. I draw the U and the V. I do, however, have an S. And opponent has slowed down. Now, I could play Vaunt and Oft. Which doesn't block anything, in the sense that the Dell's spot is still available. And the rack leaves fine, scores passable. I am in danger of shrinking bingo lanes on this board. There's the Dell hook, there's plays beginning with the D. But then there's plays ending SE or plays ending M. So the top of the board is looking a little tight at the moment. However, a short two-letter play in column 10 may open up a bingo lane in row D. So I think this is the right play. Is there anywhere, any other options I have haven't considered? Certainly it's a priority to play off V, U and N. And I'm not seeing any other way of doing that. Vaunt for 22. Well, that looks a little better. But is there is there a bingo here? Not too many floaters to consider. So I have the L and the D primarily. Okay, opponent's lead is 100 points, but it's not significantly more than 100. So the game is still on and there are two blanks to come. I don't have anything ending in G, or M, or S, E. Can't see anything through the L, or beginning with the D, or with a D in it. So, how to sort the rack out? Well, this is quite nice. I can play Pan, which opens up a super hot bingo lane in column 6, which opponent will struggle to block, but even if he does comfortably manage to block it, He'll be leaving the bottom of the board alone, and this rack goes quite well with D and L. So, pan for 16. I have N races and re canes. They both play in row N and also column 6, so I am bingoing. And uh, careens as well. So, 33 for opponent. I don't have anything which ends in G. I can't see a play which begins with D. Now, how about a play through the L? Not seeing one. Now, the problem with playing in row N is that I'm opening access to row O. 
Not much I can do about that, if that's my solitary bingo lane, but is it? And I think column six is more dangerous, providing a floater in the middle of a triple word lane. So I'm 120 behind. Rick Haynes for 75. Am I missing a lane? Vaunt takes an A in front. That could be pretty useful. Still three A's to come. Not a bingo lane, but could be a high scoring lane. I am going with this. Not bad. All bingo -y tiles. I trail by 80. No ends to come for column one, so the G becomes less useful. I don't see a play beginning with D. In fact, this rack generally doesn't look particularly bingo-y. R takes an E after it. I have one. E is bingo-y, but there are four to come, so I could afford to burn it. What I'm not seeing is anything particularly good in that spot. 21 tiles to come, including two blanks. And that suggests maybe I should be turning over a lot of tiles to try and get to one of those blanks. On the other hand, that expedites the end of the game, which I don't want to do since I am behind. I've still got this super hot bingo lane in column six. Now, what about the Avaunt spot? Well, yeah, this is tempting. I have Taihoa. No, I only have the solitary A. Do I have a play beginning with A? Not seeing it. I have hog tie on my rack. That doesn't play in column one. What about a play in column 12? Eight minutes on my clock, 21 tiles to come. I could play Hote. But I really, this G is not particularly good to have on my rack with no ends to come. So a pretty tricky rack. How about playing HO? As a five letter set, this is quite good. Should I be playing off one more vowel? Let me check the remaining vowels. 15 out of 27. Wow, I probably should. Let me just put this back for a moment. Opponent has played very quickly, just one and a half minutes of his time. I don't wish to block bingo lanes. Lots of I's and O's to come, so I could do with playing H-O-I. Where can I do that? H can go underneath the C. Wow, this is a tricky position to be in. Six minutes on my clock. 
I can't see anywhere for HOI. What about a play coming down from ER? I'm just going to check eight. Wow, that is good. So I have that here for 39 points, which is pretty huge. I'm vulnerable, vulnerable to vowels, but that is a good score. Eight for 39. I dodge the blanks and I draw more vowels, which is not particularly surprising. However, I remain in reach of my opponent. He's taken out the super hot bingo lane and scored well. 13 tiles in the bag. Five minutes on my clock. Omar is good. I can play AE. 19 points and this rack leave goes well with consonants of which there are a few but there are there are more vowels so it would be better to play off more vowels however if I don't play in this spot it's a super easy spot for opponent especially with the Z if opponent places the Z there it's game over so I'm inclined to play AE here. It does create a new bingo lane in row D. And I need to draw consonants to have a chance. I draw two vowels. And I trail by 59. 11 tiles in the bag. Two blanks unplayed. six tiles in the bag and I'm 90 points behind well I could do this for 20 I'm looking for a way of playing off three vowels and retaining my S so I don't like burning all my E's. But is there any alternative play which uses three vowels? Not that I can see. I'm going with this. Wow. Okay. So I draw I's and O's. And this game is now lost. Yep, nice score for opponent. One tile in the bag. I trail by over a hundred. Well, I don't think I should be fishing for a bingo because I suspect there are there is none. Three minutes on my clock. Where can I play off some of my vowels? And maybe I should be stopping opponent from bingoing given the remaining tiles. The main bingo lane is column 14. What do I have through this D? Not very much. I think the best I can see is Odist, and I'm inclined to go with it because although this isn't the only bingo lane, it is the the one which is the most likely. Row B is also available. I'm going with this. Am I? Yes, I am. I was just thinking about column 15 opening up a new bingo lane. 
but there are limited tiles which can go next to the S, so I think I will I will go with this. And I draw another vowel, which is quite nice because the vowel I draw is one which could go next to the S. Opponent does have both blanks. And I think he's got a bingo in row B, and he does. And the final score, 363 to me, 562 for my opponent, a winning margin of 199 points. So well done to my opponent. Let's see what I missed. It was my opponent to go first. He had this rack and played brisked. Now, did I have something? I didn't. I bolt for 32, lobster, bolster and lobster for 36. So I bolt, h13. Well, I don't like that, stopping one square short of row O. So bolster and lobster look fine. Now, great spot by opponent, Atamoya. And this is my rack. And I play Foy for 43, that looks fine. Not a great rack for opponent. But he can sort it out well with Jew. Now, I have a bingo, B13, entwined. And the other alternative was in the same column. Opponent's rack plays Viper. And now I trail by 80 and I have six vowels. And I changed, but I could have got 23 points for Dianoia, H14, down from the D. And that would have been worth doing 23 points compared to zero points for changing. Overcomes the disadvantage of providing access to triple word squares. Opponent's rack plays Dell and I play Vaunt, but I didn't play it in column 12 for 26 points. I played it at K2 for four fewer, and I prefer that positioning because Vaunt stops one square short of the bottom row. Opponent's rack plays Souk doesn't play suit, plays nar, and now I still trail by about a bingo, 100 points. I have this rack, and look at that, apnea was playable in column one. And I play pan for 16, so apnea would have been a better play, it would have created a new bingo lane, but pan did have its own merits in creating a new super hot bingo lane in column six. Opponent's rack plays Souk. And now I do have a bingo. N8. Ah, Cassern playable. Yep, that's nice for 80. And I play Recanes for 75. M7. There was a bingo through the L, Recleans. So. A choice of bingos there. Opponent struggling a bit with his racks, but able to keep scoring. Now this was a rack I spent an age on, and I played eight in the end for 39. Kite available. Wow, that's nice. Coming down from the K of brisk, brisked. But eight also fine. Opponent's rack plays mix. And now I trail by 70. There are still two blanks to come. There are bingo lanes on the board. But I'm facing a, quite a grim rack. K's. Wow, that's nice. However, burning the S. But I could have just played K-A-I-E. And I played A-E for 19. Which... It retains the S, so I think actually I, I prefer that. I think I prefer K 
because it burns one more vowel. Opponent plays Kurd. And now I play Epe as the only way to burn three vowels. Opponent draws the first of the blanks, has also drawn the Z. Plays Zo. And now I'm in dire straits. I trail by 116. There's one tile in the bag. And I am a million miles away from a bingo. So I play Odist. And opponent has a choice of bingos in row B to finish the game. So quite one-sided. Great start for opponent with two back-to-back -back bingos and a great finish with a bingo to conclude the game using both blanks and a tremendous score by him, over 550 points. Um, I stayed within a bingo's reach of my opponent until close towards the end when I drew a lot of vowels and my winning prospects vanished. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching that game and I will see you next time.